Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. What to do? <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. I wanted to just thank you really quickly for bearing with me this weekend. I was supposed to get this tea time up on Sunday. Um, for some reason, I wasn't really feeling like myself, to be honest. I was kind of like off social media a lot. Um, Sunday and Monday, I was just kind of feeling very down. Um, and I used to struggle really, really bad actually with anxiety and depression. And I could kind of pinpoint the reason as to why I may be like feeling shitty one day. Um, but you know, currently I feel like I have a pretty good life. I'm like so blessed and so happy with Christian. He's, you guys know, he's just my everything and I feel like I have nothing to complain about. But for some reason I kind of identified that I had those feelings and I honestly wasn't like in the right headspace and mood to film that day. And I think sometimes it's okay to recognize that you're feeling a certain way and take a day out for yourself or an hour or whatever you can fit like in your schedule. I know for me, having alone time is like really important. So. Yeah, I don't know, I just kind of like reevaluated my goals for the week and the videos I wanted to get up. Um, but I have gotten so many requests from you guys. You're like, bitch, where are the tea times at? Hair, get with it. Um, I'm so, I wanna let you guys know I'm so happy that you're loving these videos since I started them like a month ago. If you're new to my channel, we just talk about the tea, I guess. Like whatever's going on in my life that week or something I wanna share with you guys. And the feedback has been so great. These are the videos I love filming. I love watching from other people, so. Give this a thumbs up for me if you enjoy kind of the transparency because we are spilling a little tea today and it's pretty hot. I don't even need to pull up my social media and find the exact username that asked me this because I asked you guys for tea time questions and so many of you wanna know what happened with the person I was uh, previously dating a few months ago. He was the only, as you guys know, <sighs> I don't know why my heart is like, beating fast to talk about this. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna talk about it for a hot second and then we're gonna move on because he's not in my life anymore. I am not getting back with him. I don't respect him as a person. And but yeah, I hope you guys do appreciate the transparency, I guess, of me kind of sharing this with you um, because I definitely did feel naive in this, this situation. I feel like I'm being vulnerable, even though I wasn't necessarily like at fault, I'm being vulnerable with sharing it. But I know there's a lot of younger girls or women, women of any age, shoot, that this could happen to easily. Um, so yeah, we'll share it real quick and then we'll move on to all the other tea time questions. But a lot of you did want to know what happened with that person. He was the only person I had ever put in my YouTube videos. We met and instantly I can say I truly fell for him. I did introduce him to Christian, as you guys know. And I'm sure even just by looking at the title of this video, you're like, oh, you were the other woman. You were sleeping with someone else for so long and blah, blah, blah. It didn't happen like that at all. It's probably not what you guys think. So someone asked for today's tea time, like what exactly went down and basically, the person I was dating for f over four months um, was married, is married, still is married, uh, but it's not like he, basically we both live here in Southern California. It's not like he's married here and lives with his wife and like was just sneaking out to see me or anything like that. No, like we had like a full on relationship. So what ended up happening was we dated for months and I found out from another girl who messaged me and said, uh, because I guess he used to date her as well and the same thing happened to her and she randomly like followed my videos or my Snapchat and recognized him in my pictures. And she was like, oh my God, this is happening to her too. Like, let me tell her. So. I didn't even find out from this guy himself coming forward and being honest. I found out from her. So basically she told me, she's like, do you know that he's still married? She had sent me like an Instagram DM. And I was thinking like, no, like this just can't be like, no. Like he said he wants to be in my son's life, stay with me, you know, forever, for a long term. I've totally fallen for this person. We're together every single night doing everything together. Like there's no way that he could be married. He did tell me that he has kids, which he does. He was like very honest and upfront about that. Uh, but basically his wife, I don't know why it's in quotations because she's, she's his wife, it is what it is. Um, she lives in another state. So he's in the military and he transferred out here like years ago, I believe. Um, so they've been separated for I think over three years um, and she lives out there with the kids uh, like all the way across the country. But legally, yeah, he is still married. Um, so yeah, he never told me that, never. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I feel weird right now. My heart's like pounding. I don't know. It feels weird. Like, I don't know exactly how to explain this the right way to you guys because I feel naive for not knowing. Um, but I feel like I did ask all the right questions. You know, during the entire time that we dated, he had told me, oh, we've been divorced for this long or my ex. He would never obviously say like my wife. Um, and yes, even though she lives in a different state and they're legally or they're separated, they're not like legally separated on paper and they're not legally divorced. So I feel like how can you start dating someone else when you're not legally divorced yet or even tell that person or anything? 
like, yeah, I get it. You've been separated for three years and like you're both probably want to get on with your life and date other people. But why wouldn't you just like start getting the paperwork done and like legally do it the right way, you know? So I felt extremely lied to and cheated. And I'm like, how dare you sit here and make me look so dumb and put you in my, vi he let me put him in my videos, you guys. What if she was on the other end and like randomly found my YouTube channel one day and saw him in my videos and she was like, what the hell? Who is this girl? Like, that's my husband. That makes me feel super naive, super dumb. Um, like, I can't even tell you guys, this person was telling me that he loved me, that he wanted to be with me full term and he wanted us to get married. Like, the fact that he was not divorced yet on his end, completely failed to tell me, completely failed to be super honest with that up front, made me lose all respect for him. Then at the very end, when I confronted him about it, instead of his response being such a mature and incredible, instead of him owning up to it and being like, shit, I just didn't know how to tell you, or like, there was really no excuse, but being mature, because he was a really mature, nice, respectful person. And I was very honest with you guys, the fact that he treated Christian amazing, like he treated me amazing, even though I don't wanna be with him anymore, I owned up to that. And I, I was honest about the fact that he was really great to us, except for this. And when this happened and I confronted him about this, a whole nother side of him came out. He was rude, he was condescending. He was very like, oh, I don't have to tell you that, that's my life. I'm like, your life, like we're dating, like we're obviously sleeping together and I've introduced you to my son, I've introduced you to my entire YouTube family, which is my everything. Like I get, I was super vulnerable in the videos like, and put out all this content that you guys were like free to like judge me on and see who I was dating and I opened that up to you because I had been praying for so long for the right person and very, you guys know I'm very, um, uh, strict on what I want. Like I believe in manifesting and believing and seeing your mind what you want and having it come to you and I wanted someone who was super respectful, honest, a great dad and he had all of those qualities, everything. And we literally lived our day-to-day -day life as if we were just together and had been together forever and just fell super hard for each other and the entire time he was still married to her. I don't know, I just, I just feel like it was super, super disrespectful. I was lied to from the beginning. He didn't even tell me himself. I had to find out from like some random girl um, and I don't know if this is like a thing with military. I'm not trying to like knock on military people in general or generalize, but I dated two other people super, like for very, very short amounts of time a while back in the military, but they were all kind of like this. Like it's sad to say. Um, I don't know if you like get deployed somewhere else and you can't like legally get divorced because something going on with the military or whatever the situation was, he should have just told me. But as you guys know, we've been broken up for months now. I'm never getting back with that person. I'm not even talking to him anymore. And I wasn't even gonna go into why we broke up because I did a breakup video and I was so respectful in that video. I was so proud of myself. I named, I recognized the good things that he gave me in Christian and I was super honest about how good he treated us. But at the same time, I was like very respectful. I don't give you guys his name or anything or his Instagram to go hate on him, nor am I gonna do that in this video. That's not me, that's not, who I am, I wouldn't want someone doing that to me, but I do feel like there's other people maybe in this situation or you're dating someone maybe where there's like certain signs. I don't know, I just wanna share this to encourage you guys to do your, not like dirty investigative work, but ask your partner these things. Like be, ask questions, have that communication open. I feel like this could go over so many girls' heads and I feel bad for the people he's gonna date in the future because I guarantee you, like I know the type of person he is. He's definitely gonna be going out on dates and I know he's not gonna come up front and be like, oh yeah, and by the way, like I'm married, like, but it's like, how do you just hide something so big like that from someone, you know? I don't know, I just felt a whole nother level of betrayal because I had shared him with you guys and you guys truly are, like my YouTube is like my everything and I've worked so hard on it and I, like the connection with you guys, like just everything to open that up to you was a big thing for me to do. And Christian, I've never introduced anyone to Christian. So that was huge for me. So I don't know, I just felt, you know, heartbroken and just so many things, but Anywho, I haven't been with him for months. As you guys know, I'm not getting back with him. He did actually hit me up a few weeks ago and was super, super rude. Um, super, extremely immature. Like, cannot even recognize his own actions and man up to what he did or anything, which gives leaves me to have no respect for him, which is why I'm totally fine sharing this because I don't respect him as a person anyways. And it's not like I'm being nasty. I'm just kind of telling you guys how something went down. So if you're in any type of relationship like that, you can please look for the signs. Or if you've been in any situation like this and you're comfortable, maybe leave a little story, a blurb in the comments. I do read them all and I don't know. Like I felt very vulnerable and I'm like very curious to know. Um, you know, if this happened to other people, 
please give me a thumbs up guys on this video please if you do appreciate me sharing like really intimate stuff like that I don't mind like there are certain parts of my life I will keep off YouTube and they're just for me like this weekend kind of why I was like feeling down and stuff that's all you know that's my stuff that I don't I feel like I share like 90% but I really try to be um, honest and upfront in these tea times about anything I'm going through with Christian or single parenting or anything purely to help other people or to relate to other people so I like I feel comfort in knowing that you guys appreciate that all right let's move on to some other tea time questions that was really long um, since we're already like here talking about relationships and stuff um, a question I got on snapchat was hey girl I know you mentioned or has Christian's father's family ever reached out to you I know you mentioned once they were super nice but why aren't any of them trying at all um, feel free to not answer if that one's too nosy. Love you. Love you too. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing. I actually ran into my son's father's sister the other day, and she was, like, extremely nice per usual. Like, they're not. It's just a weird situation, guys. Like, I, I think they ask him about Christian all the time, and he doesn't really know what to say since it's been so long since he's seen him. And he knows he messed up. He, he knows that I reached out so many times and told him, you're totally welcome to see Christian. I have never, ever kept Christian away or said, oh, you can't see him. Like, guys, I can't even count the amount of times I've offered him or his family the chance to see him. Um, his mom is a lot older and I know his dad recently just passed away. So they were going through not like an excuse or anything, but they were going through, you know, a tough time and his sisters are older. They all have their own kids, their own lives. Um, I feel like they would definitely be more involved if I was with Christian's dad, which again, I'm not, I'm never going to be. Um, but uh yeah like i don't know what to say like they are very nice and if i like run into them they're super sweet like the way they look at christian and we'll give him a hug like you could tell they care about him and that they always are asking his dad like what's up with it and i think he just it's been so long now that he hasn't been in the picture that he doesn't know what to say and he, like i know that there's there's a happiness missing from his life because christian's not in it because i can't even imagine my life without christian like if i i can't imagine where i would I don't know it's like where did I get my joy and where did I get like I don't know it's kind of like what was life before I had Christian you know so I can't even imagine being a parent or helping create a baby and then going through your day-to-day -day life without seeing that kid seeing the milestones seeing how they grow up how they talk how they progress especially with Christian being um, a little bit delayed on speech and um, gross motor and other things due to being a preemie seeing him now hit certain milestones and like catch up to other kids his age is so fun and just like so cool to see how much he's advancing and how smart he is so i mean t yeah to not have that like i imagine that his dad is kind of just like floating through life i don't know like maybe i don't know i mean i i really i don't know about his life you guys i'm not a part of it um i can go to bed at night knowing that i will do everything and everything whenever i need to for christian whatever he needs i will always be there and i will never leave and i try to give him as much love like to compensate for him not being there and i know when the time is right and the right person does come in to our life who i end up marrying or who ends up being there for a christian unconditionally and never leaving i know it will be worth me waiting what seems like forever uh to find that person because yeah christian's gonna be five in january and i feel like i would have met someone by now or would have uh, I don't know. I saw myself a few years ago being like, okay, by the time Christian's five, like maybe I'll be engaged or I'll at least be with the person I know I'm going to stay with. Um, and I didn't really care too much when Christian was like one and two and even three because he was so little. My brother and my dad are always around. So he's had really great male father figures growing up and like so much love. Like my family loves him so, so much. Like nothing seems like it's really missing. But I guess now that he goes to school and he talks more he, and he sees TV shows with like a mom and dad, he starts to talk about it more and like ask more. And that's what really breaks my heart because he doesn't understand that I walked away from a relationship that was not healthy and where I was truly not happy happy and I didn't want him growing up seeing me with someone to where it was like we cared for each other like 70% or like I didn't respect the other person because they were not doing their best at being a dad and loving Christian which which is my number one priority and just like him walking away like that like I can't respect that or be I don't know just so many things to where we didn't work out I wouldn't have wanted to stay with someone just because we had a kid I would much rather grind it out hustle like do my own thing and support Christian on my own which I do I got another snapchat question about child support that's another thing that's like I think that you know that 
kind of it like almost crosses the line of like that's just personal business but I don't really care telling you guys I don't get any child support from him um, we do have like a court order of how much he's supposed to pay me every month he doesn't I mean I know he doesn't have much money I'm not gonna like go after him or anything and I I'm blessed to do what I do on YouTube and I feel like I work very hard at it to make enough to like live you know with Christian and provide for what Christian needs so at this point it's not like he's trying to get visitation or anything to where I like need to like get his child support I'm just kind of I don't know I don't I don't even want him in the picture he doesn't want to be in the picture so it just kind of works out okay so Christina Lespina I think it is um comments on Instagram hey girl question for tea time how do you know when you're in love how like how did you realize what does it feel like etc obviously I haven't been in love yet since I'm asking this but I've always wondered how it feels I don't know if that's a weird question to ask haha <laughs> Aw, that's sweet I love that question um it kind of feels like deja vu I think I've answered this in another Q&A or another like tea time or something but for me there's two kinds of real real love but again i feel like i've said these exact words in another q a what i feel for christian which is just the utmost unconditional would do anything for you die for you like anything you need type of love and then that love that you have for another person who you're dating or who you just fall absolutely in love with like the love in movies you guys i want even though your girl is single right now i don't have it at the moment i want to let you know if you've never been in love or you are wondering if you are or like whatever it exists you guys it's totally one million percent out there all of you deserve it the absolute like head over heels butterflies in your stomach you think about that person 24 7 like the mad passion that you see in the movies that is out there i have felt that twice in my entire life for my son's dad when we first met um and then for this other person about two years ago and i just can't even tell you like I don't know how to explain how it feels like everything you do you're just always thinking of them like i would see things at the store and like randomly be like oh that person would like this or like think of something to do for them without them even asking like they're just always on your mind um i don't know it's a it's an amazing amazing feeling that is the only reason i think that i'm okay being single right now and waiting for I know what I want and what I deserve and that spark because I know it's out there. If I had never felt that before and I just thought and I was in like a mediocre relationship and I was like, oh, maybe this is just as good as it gets. Maybe that's what I would settle for. But because I've seen, because I have felt what it feels like, like that's what I'm waiting for again. Like I've recently gone on maybe just like one or two dates, like nothing serious at all, just to like get out, you know? And the both guys were like super, super nice and so sweet and so respectful. But I just knew when I got home that night that like I didn't feel that spark that I had felt a few years back. So that's how I know it's out there. Like I know that I'm waiting to feel like that again for someone and I'm waiting for the person who feels like that back for me. I don't know why that like gets me emotional because the person I liked a few years ago, I felt fell for him so hard and I would do any literally anything for him. And all I wanted was for him to feel that way back for me, and he didn't. And that's okay. You can't make someone want to be with you. I don't want to be with someone who doesn't think I'm right for them. But the way that I felt for him and everything I would have done for him is what I'm waiting for and is what I know is out there. And I want you guys to know that it's out there because I don't want you to settle. I don't want you to think if you're in a relationship with verbal or physical abuse or anything that this, we can just get through it. And like, yeah, couples go through shitty times and you do have to get through things, but you don't have to get through continuous abuse or someone putting you down. Fuck that. Like, guys, be on your own. Trust me, you can do it on your own. I get so many Snapchats too of like, oh, me and my man just broke up. I'm about to be a single mom. I'm so nervous. How do you do it? I realized when my son's dad and I broke up, this is it, right? Like it's me and Christian. This is it. This is our reality. This is our future. How am I going to provide for him? I have to hustle. I have to. And I've been with my YouTube and everything now over four and a half years providing everything that we need on my own you guys it's possible you don't need a man you don't need a partner it's great to have them it's so great to have them and i'm envious of the people who are with the right partner and they're like such a powerful force together that's freaking incredible when it is the right person but if you haven't found that person yet don't think that you can't be successful on your own or that you can't manifest your dream life on your own you can you guys know i'm all about being a girl boss inspiring other boss babes out there supporting each other you can do it a million percent and yes the beginning is the hardest before two apartments ago you guys i lived in a shitty shitty apartment it was not a good i mean it wasn't like a bad ghetto area because i had my son i wouldn't put him somewhere like shitty but it was not nice at all i have worked 
my ass off, my way up to get where I am now. And even where I am now is not like, I still have so much further to go. I have so many more goals in mind that I wanna hit. I wanna buy my own house. I wanna, within this next year, I wanna build Christian savings up to a certain amount. It's my first goal and get him into school and everything with him. Aside from that, I wanna get my YouTube to half a million followers, I wanna buy my own house, and I wanna buy my own dream car. And I can already envision the Instagram posts and like sharing it with you guys in a video and being like, hell fucking yeah, I did that myself. I never want someone to like marry someone or them to be like, oh, it's your anniversary, here's a car. I mean, that's cool and that's like so freaking nice, I can't lie, but I would much rather post about it and be like, I saved for four years for this. I did this shit myself. Like, it's so empowering. I don't know, to hit your goals and like to do things, I don't know, on your own. And yes, everyone needs support. Like I said, everyone needs a partner at some point when it's the right person. Everyone needs like an amazing group of friends and people to support you and lift you up. But just know how powerful and how educated and smart and strong that you are on your own and that you've got that within you if you just look deep enough and find out and know that it's there. So this has been a very long tea time again. They always are. If you're new to my channel, I really, really do appreciate you sticking around the whole video. I would very much appreciate just a thumbs up. If you would like to, please subscribe and hit the notification bell two times. I found out you gotta just smack it twice so that you are notified of all my new videos. I appreciate you guys. My YouTube fam is like literally my everything. I know I sound corny saying it in every video. I don't care. I want you to know I'm very thankful that you came and watched this video, that you would spend any time of your day on my channel just checking up on me and Christian. It just means a lot to us. So I'd love to have you guys on my social media. They're all public. Come say what's up and what's good to me. Let me know in the comments down below any other like video requests that you have and I will get on it. And I hope you guys have an incredible week and I will see you in the next one.